Hey guys, John here. I haven't done a new, uh, an updated build video in quite some time, so let's get started on a build 3.0 video. I've changed out so many things on the truck. A lot of the old suspension from the build 2.0 video is gone. The seats are different. Man, the, the ham radio now is up top. I've, like I said, I've changed a lot of things since the last video. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so starting off in the front, I still have the relentless fabrication front bumper. And I love how just the, it just follows the body line so well. I love this thing. It's probably definitely one of my favorite GX bump, front bumpers on the market today. I have it paired with some Squadron Pros, some S2 Pros, the S8 in the middle, with the Warren VR Evo 10S. We got the Factor 55 Fairlead and the Ultra Hook beautiful red touch to the front as for front suspension it's been completely changed out from my original Fox setup we have the King 2.5 coilover fully adjustable the LSK long travel kit that puts it about four and a half over uh, factory the solo motorsports tie rod kit and these things are super beefy if you bend these you're having a bad day on everything else because if you break that you're breaking a lot of stuff so the tie rod ends are also paired to a tundra steering rack which is much beefier than the oem gx one but it is not fun to install throw that out there you're doing a lot of cutting to get that guy in but overall i'm super happy with the setup Handles amazing. I love throwing this thing around the streets, taking it off road, just drives like a Cadillac when you're going like 70 miles an hour across the desert. So it moves, it's tons of fun. But the upper control arm, all the Heim joints, just love the setup, it's beautiful. On the side, the sides you got the McQueen fiberglass fenders with the integrated snorkel. I just love how clean it, it just fits perfectly. And then the black is just a perfect touch to the Raptor liner that we have on the outside. Just matches really well. For the ditch lights, I got the CBI brackets. I'm pretty sure they're CBI. I just love the way they put them so that they come out so far. I had to cut it for the snorkel, but on the other side, it pops out even farther. It just really clears the windshield, doesn't get in your way. All the other companies, for whatever reason, they put their ditch lights like right here. And it's just really annoying. I don't know why they don't move them over like CBI did. So moving on with the side of the vehicle, we got the plug-in hybrid outlet right here. You know, we gotta get all that extra electrical uh, power. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's just, uh, it's pretty much my shore power. Or when I get home, I just plug in. It keeps the dual batteries topped off. I don't drive the truck very often, so once in the garage, keeping the dual battery system topped off. Got the Raptor liner on the side. We thinned it out a little bit just to get a not as aggressive look. And it just makes it so much easier to clean. Or even like the, the stock like uh, Raptor liner is really easy to clean compared to the Linex. The dirt really gets in between the Linex, making it hard to clean. This is just super easy, just wipes right off. You don't have to like sit there scrubbing like the Linex. I got the JW Off-Road Rock Sliders. The kick out in the back is awesome. People getting in and out of the car. And when you go around rocks, it really kicks the rock, like the whole vehicle out. I've used it a bunch of times just to like get around the, some big boulders. It really helps. Definitely recommend the kick out. On top, we have the JW Off-Road Roof Rack paired with the Baja S2 Pros on every uh, corner. Awesome lights, love the Bajas. Got the little GW off-road GoPro mount. The No Name Overseas RTT. The JW off-road side panel with the JW off-road shovel. I love the shovel. It's pretty much my poop shovel. You know, when you go camping, you gotta bury your crap. So that's what I use it for. <laughs> pretty much. In the back, I have the King 2.5 triple bypass shock. 
probably should have cleaned them a little better. In the rear, I'm running the Califab 3-Link. Let's see where I could get the best angle of that from. Let me get you guys some better angles of the Califab 3-Link kit. Here's the new lower control arm bracket. And it does not reuse the same mounting point either. It's a whole new mounting point on the bottom. There's the King 2.5 triple bypass shock. The upper control arm gets mounted on top right there. So it's a whole different bracket that gets welded to the frame right there. So that's what's different in the rear. I got the Dobinson, uh, they're not Dobinson. What are they? I don't even remember for the rear springs. Pretty sure they're Dobinson. Man, now I feel really stupid. I don't remember what uh, rear springs they are. I had to go with a, uh, a heavy duty spring just from all the weight that I have in the trunk. Uh, the whole drawer system, the fridge, just everything that's on top of the truck. Just needed a heavy duty spring. So let's uh, continue on to the side of the vehicle and to the rear. Continuing on to the rear of the vehicle, got the JW off-road one-off custom bumper. It really follows the body lines and the contour so well. He did such an amazing job on it. Probably like one of the best rear bumpers I've seen on a GX. If uh, he only did a one-off, he said he'll never make them again, but I'm sure if you keep pounding him, he'll make you one. Got the swing out tire on this side, the jerry can holder on this side. And we also have the high lift mounted on it and the way that we have the high lift mounted we had enough space between the tire to put a, a little propane tank mount that's also made by him awesome quality love this rear bumper it's literally the cleanest rear gx bumper i've ever seen on top we got the jw off-road Chase light bracket, again, paired with some S2 Pros. The Lifesaver Jerry Can. This thing is literally a lifesaver, just like the name states. You can literally go up to any stream, water source. I've seen videos of people go up to like cow, like cow puddles, uh, you know, that's just full of uh, cow poop, fill it up with water and the, out came some clear drinking water it's got a active filter membrane inside so it's again filters out 99.99 percent .99 of all harmful things you'd be putting in your body so from the stream but again it's a must on the left side i have the rotopack mount with the uh, rotopack uh, water carrier but i filled it with diesel fuel um, put a little uh, fuel outlet right here. It runs over to my diesel heater, which is mounted on the side of the vehicle. I run the fuel line just out from here. I run it on top and it just comes right in right here. Um, the cool air goes in, the diesel heater heats it up, hot air comes out here, and I just pipe it right up into the RTT on top. Super simple. Just got a diesel heater on Amazon, got the case on Amazon, put it all together, fairly simple. So starting off at the back of the GX, I'll just, uh, I got this awesome Jeep table. It's literally a table on Amazon that's built to go on the tailgate of the Jeeps. And it happened to fit perfectly between the JW off-road uh, webbing delete. It just fits perfect. Awesome. This was only like when I bought it, I think it was like $25 on Amazon. I think the, the price has like skyrocketed since. I think they're charging like 90 bucks. But just so you know, the Jeep tables fit perfect in between the cubby. Got the little Baja cooking light right here. Moving on, we have the Iceco VL75 Pro. This thing's awesome. I love this thing. Like, I don't know how we dealt with ice chest and ice and all that stuff before going out on the Mojave Trail, bringing ice cream with us. This thing's just awesome. And not only does it open from that side, but you come over here, open it up. Super sweet. Again, I don't know how we ever lived without these guys. These things have been a game changer in the overland uh, and off-roading scene or just camping in general. I mean, 
being able to have a fridge freezer while camping with you, it just, you don't have to worry about like where you're gonna be next, where you're gonna have to get ice from. We got the solar panels on top, so we're always keeping the batteries topped off. So we never have a power problem. Again, you can't live without the ice kill fridge. Just love this thing. Let me pull the tab, slide it back in. In the back drawer, drawer comes all the way out. I got my shower attachment for the Lifesaver jerry can. As long as you're by water, you pretty much have an endless source of clean drinking water, shower water, clean your dishes, love it. Got the Costco fold up chairs. These things have also been a game changer because they fit perfectly in here. Got a little ice co lantern. My cutting board, I got my stove, my Coleman stove. And I just run a hose line to the propane tank mount right there. Got a little cast iron skillet underneath. But I pretty much just cut the drawers or I made the little cubbies for that they fit all this stuff perfectly. Don't have to worry about when you're traveling off road, just everything just rattles to death. So keeping it all compact and as tight as possible so that things aren't moving around is key. Let's see. Got some hammocks back here, first aid kit, shot glasses, of course, for camping. Some mouthwash, sanitizing wipes, bug spray, cooking oil, uh, seasonings. Gotta have the sunblock. Sunblock's a must. That's about does it for this uh, cubby. And I kept these like really, when I set the slides, I made them a little tweaked so that the, the drawers don't rattle. I notice a lot of people, they'll just put the slides in and they freaking rattle. Like you'll hear the little ball bearings in there. All you gotta do is just offset them just by like, like two sixteenths, like not even much. And it just makes them like a nice, like solid tight slide. So you don't have to worry about everything just shaking to death. Another first aid kit, I got my hoses for the propane. Underneath here, I have a tire plug kit, the awning straps. I got some LED lights to put in the awning too. Haven't been able to go around and getting that in. I always keep a bunch of like all the uh, backpacking meals back here. Just boil some water and you're pretty much good to go. Cup of noodle, gotta have the spicy chicken flavor, the best. What do we got in here? Girlfriend got me an awesome K-Bar for the holidays. Awesome cooking knives. More top ramen. Can't go wrong with like, of course, like when we go camping, I'll bring like some fresh meats, all kinds of like nice meals to cook. But as for, you know, a quick day trip or something, you get hungry, you got something you can make. You don't got to worry about it expiring or you do, but not for a long time. I got a light, an LED strip mounted in just uh, a piece of aluminum channel. And I just run all the lights. There's just like a quick, uh, simple light switch panel that I keep in here. Very simple. All my patches. The JW Off-Road Cubby. And I also keep my RTT ladder in there. It's perfect for that. On top, I have the OC Mounts Ram Kit for the Wee Boost antenna. Just goes across right there and fold it down so I can get in the parking garages, park in the garage, don't have to worry about me hitting the antenna. And that about does it for the back. Continuing on to the back seat, I got my fold up toilet that I got on Amazon, which is like an absolute must. You just put a bag that wraps around it and uh, you do your business in the bag. Go over to my shovel, dig a hole and uh, bury it. Let's see, moving on. Got the Recaro seats. Love these seats. Big game changer. The Toyota Prado center console right there. The Recaro seat rails. And I got the Desert Desert uh, seat jackers just to give myself a little bit more leg support. I like to keep the seat high. But guys, these Recaro seats, total game changer. The bolsters really keep you in the seat. When you're going that fast across the desert, the leather seats before, you were just sliding all over the place. 
I'd have to like hold on to the handle sometimes just to keep myself from uh, sliding around in the seats. And since we lost the armrest from the OEM seats, I ended up picking up the Toyota Prado center console, which again, big game changer over the stock one. The cup holders in here are just amazing. You get all this like cubby space. Having all that cubby space was a big game changer too. Keep my deflators, everything in there. Still running the iPad Pro for my Onyx maps. Got the aux beam switch up there still. The, I forget what model this is, but I picked up a ham radio. And what I did, I just run the wire through there and just mounted it between the sunroof and that uh, top panel. The other big thing with the GX, especially with how old they're getting, the steering wheels were pretty worn out. So I found this black one on eBay. Again, super comfortable. I love the, the black and tan I was a little worried about at first, but I think uh, after I wrapped all the trim with the black wood grain, and now that the seats are black and the black trim here, all the uh, black and tans really coming together now. Really like it. If you guys got any questions on the truck, please don't uh, hesitate to ask. I guess I actually almost forgot to go over. I don't know if you guys have not seen or seen it in the original video, but just the dual battery setup. So I'll do a quick, quick, uh, got the little controller right there works automatically so when you go home plug it in you don't have to worry about like messing with it let's uh let's go ahead and go over it real fast so i haven't cleaned under here in a long time um i got a duracell agm battery with the blue sea system millark uh controller everything's got fuses on it on both sides everything's pretty much triple fuse i got a circuit breaker over here a blue sea circuit breaker for the light controller Again, moving on over here, got the Odyssey second bag. I can't remember what this guy is. I think it's like a 65 amp hour battery from Odyssey. This thing has been an awesome upgrade. I used to have the Duracell one also, but this thing just holds a charge so much longer. I don't know what it is. I mean, they're still pretty much the same amp hours, but Odyssey batteries, guys, these things are uh, tried and true. Uh, it's, fused, it's got a fuse back here. Here's my dual battery charger uh, for shore power or when the truck's at home, not going anywhere. Like I said, I plug it in, keeps the batteries all topped off and ready to go. And I have the, I think it's called Black Rhino Media washer tank. Since uh, the front bumper, you gotta move the washer tank or else you're gonna be whacking it with your tires. Or, But this thing's been awesome. It was super cheap compared to like the high quality aluminums that ones that you see. I think it was only like, 60 bucks or something versus like the $300 aluminum tank. Got the ham radio mount right here and the NOCO chargers right down there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, I had to cut out the support brace to fit the Warren winch. Hey guys, that pretty much sums up my build video. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, or if I missed something in the video and I didn't describe it or go over it, throw it down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to get back to you guys. And that pretty much sums up my build, you know, it's, it does everything I needed to and more. Super happy with it. You guys, uh, man, it's so nice out today. It's beautiful out here in Newport Beach right now. I think we might freaking go do some, like, paddle boarding or something. You know, I just want to touch on it real quick. I know I'm kind of, like, babbling now. You don't need something, like, super fixed up. You know, just go out and have a good time. Go spend time with your friends outside. Go camping. Go do something. Go outside. Just, just hang out. If you go outside though, pick up your trash. That's all I gotta say. Don't, I hate going out to the desert, finding people's couches, TVs, and just trash everywhere. Don't leave your shit out, pick it up. If you're gonna go shooting, pick up your brass, pick up your shells. Just, uh, that's all I ask, come on. It's not very hard, it only takes a couple minutes. All right guys, I know I'm rambling on, so let's conclude this video, out.